All right, so in this video, we're working on the Dynamark, obviously. I did not film an intro to this, so this is, this is how far along I am. If you saw last video, not many did, but if you see, I've got this transmission in here. I've made this uh, shift linkage. You haven't seen that, that's new, then it goes to here. So I've got reverse, neutral, first and second. Good. Brakes are right there. They should work if I put a cable to it. I just put a washer. Just put a washer underneath the transmission to jack it up. Over here, sprocket clears with the 40 chain. And then I have my bearings here and no sprockets here. I'm gonna upgrade these bolts eventually, but for now, that's it. And also, since it's been lowered one inch, these fenders rub that I cannot even move the wheel. So over here, you can see that massive flare that I've had to do, kind of. So now it doesn't really rub. So we're going to go with that. So I'll do the same to this side, like I did, just with some, uh, some of these. Just get under there and pry it up. And yeah, then I'm just getting this wheel on. Those are my hubs that I've got. So we're going to do that. So away we go. So we've got the new hat, the cars and camera shirt, we've got the Crocs, and look at this. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Look at the fenders tuck in there, wheels. Wow, we're a little narrower in the back, so that's good or bad, I don't know. It's fine. That's the wheel that I'll be riding. It's a little smaller, so will be fine. We got. I actually got that from Zach. I made him a mini bike seat, kind of like mine, for his new bike that you will see soon. So there you go. Wait on. Wait on that. But yeah, look at this. I think it looks pretty sick. Look at that. Still has some rake to it, but that's almost as low as I want to go in the back. We also have taking out a bit of strength but anyways we'll figure a way to add that back in because this point wants to come to that point so what I will do is from the bottom of this right here I will take a rod maybe on both sides from there to the plate that I have under there from right there at the end to up there to that from right there to right here. That's what we'll do. So I, will, so I will not do that today, but we now know what we need. And we now also know that the brakes, uh, they're, uh, they can feel some friction, we'll say that. We'll just leave it at that. They're, they, they make some friction. So maybe in the future we might want to be looking at get, putting a rotor in here and maybe slotting out, or sliding the wheel out a bit more. Could probably fit a rotor in there, just move this out a quarter of an inch or half an inch maybe. But anyways, so I think that's well, where I will leave it today. That's enough. Several days later. Alright, so I'm out here working on the Dynamark again. I've got the wheels on and the transmission. I've got the shifter made, so that works see it there just welded some stuff so but the brake is a little lacking so uh, the original brake caliper on here I had to change out for one from this transmission because this one was just I don't know it's just no good so this one has a longer pull on it for more leverage so but then this I made too small for the other one so now I'm gonna make this uh, two inches taller so that we're not pulling at such an angle there so we'll maybe get some better better stopping because right now it's there's a bit of resistance but like eh, not not nothing nothing to write home about so we'll make that I've just got some of this I bent up so make it a bit longer and then drill the holes in it 
so we will do that. And then we need to add a brace from the transmission down to the axle mount, and then we will go from there. Just got this on here. It'll be fine. But anyways, that's what we're doing. So we'll start by removing the old brake thing and making a new one. Here's what I've got. I've got this piece to go there to hold the cable and then this piece as a support. So I will weld them up on my um, non-flammable work welding table with that. And then we have to weld the muffler on this because that's, that's no good. So let's do this first. All right, there it is there, just welded up. It's still really hot, but that should do. So we'll slap it on and see if it works any better. So we will do that now. All right, so I've got it on there, the cable's there, and I've got a little return spring. And if you can see this, they stop. Now, they're not Brimbos, or whatever you call them, but you know, they, they, there's quite a bit of resistance there. So there's only one way to find out if they work. That would be taking it on a test drive. So we'll do that next. Just make sure everything's all good. I might want to do something other than uh, vice grips to hold the, the brakes on, but I don't know. Probably should have something different. But anyways, this seems to be working okay. A lot better than it was with the smaller bracket and there is little to no flex that's in the actual metal under there so next we will make a brace going from the transmission mount down there to reinforce this cuttings so we will do that now Okay, now I'm going to weld this support piece from there to there to add strength for the chain because the two points on the chain they want to draw together, so just help that support it out a little bit more to see how it goes. Alright, so what I would do, put it into a gear. Apparently that's not in a gear. Reverse is a little tricky. I need to file that out so it'll go first. Looks like it's significantly less. So that's good. All right. Now we will make sure everything's tight and then see what we can do from there. Maybe go for a test ride, I don't know. Later that same evening. You can see how ghetto this is right now. Alright, I need to try to not stall it because the battery is not hooked up. This is the brake, that's the gas, that's the clutch. I don't know how the gear ratio is. My friend and I guessed it, so... That... The belt is slipping, I can definitely feel that. But look at this, the Dynamark is back in action. Yeah, the belt is definitely slipping. Yeah, I'm gonna need to get a shorter belt for that. Um, maybe this will work. <laughs> All right, take two. and it is hitting the uh, uh, the frame a little bit. So 
their second gear and it's just slipping the belt. They should probably get over. There's a car coming. Yeah, this is getting us nowhere. So I said I would drive it in this video, but we're just spinning the belt, and it isn't getting full throttle, so that's a thing. Well then, see how hot the belt is. Where is it? There it is. Yeah, but that's, that's too loose. So, this is an A69, as it says right there. So maybe we'll get a something else, I don't know. I don't think the fenders are rubbing, oh they might be. Oh well, they're a little hot there. Anyways. Well, maybe we'll get another belt. We'll go with that. 